Hello everyone, you are welcome to the Laser Network where we will be doing our tutorials in map reading and today we shall be working on calculation of surface area on the map and we are going to look on how we can calculate surface area of a regular object as well as the surface area of an irregular object. You need to believe me that there are two different formulas and I wish that you follow up right to the end to see how the formulas are applied in case uh, the questions are given. So to GC students, you should be very careful here that the, the, the GC will never tell you what formula you're going to use. You are the one to identify the type of formula you're going to use or the method you're going to use to calculate the surface area on your on your uh, uh, map. So much so that it falls in line with that of the GC board. If you use, for example, uh, uh, this method, whereas you're supposed to use the other method, you are bound to to fail because they find the answers will not be the same. Of course, they'll have the same units, but they will not be the same. So let us quickly look at how to calculate the surface area of a regular object. A regular object could be just like what we have done here. You see, for example, this is square. So let's consider, for example, this is a map, for instance, that has been reduced to half its scale. And we have been asked to calculate the surface area of the reduced map. Hey, you guys, I'm not referring, I'm not referring to this area here. We're talking about the surface area of this map. And very easy for me to identify to, to, to identify the area from this map. Because when we look at this map, we discover that from this from this section, we discover here that, the, that this side is longer than the other section. So let's consider this, this the longest side as the length and the other side as the, the width, which means I'm going to use the first method here, which is the length times the width. And what should I do? I have to measure the length. The length of the area. So the first thing that I need to do first of all is to write the formula down. Area is equal to length times the width. Length times the width. And then I identify what the length is. What is the length? They need to measure the length and come out with a value. So if we measure for instance, and let's say we have a value for instance, like 10, 10 centimeters, you should note that we are, we are referring to a map. I want to calculate the actual area of which of the, the, the whole map. And therefore, our answer cannot come out in centimeters, which means that we are supposed to transform the centimeters into kilometers. We should simply have to divide by 2. Divide by 2. That is the case whereby the mass scale, for example, is given to be 1 is to 50,000. So, what is 50,000 simply means here that one centimeter on the map represents 50,000 centimeters on the actual ground surface. Now, we should recall that everything on the map is in centimeters, and when we have to transform into kilometers, one, one centimeter will be equal to 100,000 centimeters on the actual ground surface, which means that 50,000 centimeters is just half, half of. Uh, 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 the 100 centimeters, 100,000 centimeters are going to have on the, on, the, on the earth surface. Reason why we are dividing the length here by 2. Or in other words, we can simply multiply 10 centimeters times half. So most of that, we come out with our length. This will give us 2 cards here, 1, and here will give us 5. And therefore, our length now will be 5 kilometers, no longer centimeters. The same thing goes with the width. Calculate the width too. And uh, let's say, for example, the width, the width here, for instance, it is 6 cm. As an example, we also put the same thing times half. Times here 1, and here it us 3. And the answer now will be 3 kilometers. Now, we are going to take now, therefore, the area of the total surface coverage will be equal to 5 kilometers times 3 kilometers. This will give us 15 kilometers square. So that is that about the first formula. That's it's very simple and you come out your answer in that way. Should in case this 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 picture here is a rectangle. Now let's consider that it was a square. A square is an object with equal sight. It's an object with equal sight. And it's a regular object that we said. Therefore I'm going to use the second method, method two, which is the side times the sight. So let's consider that this side of, the, of the, the square is the same, 10 centimeters. Therefore, our compass, all right? 
This will be the first method that we've done. Second method, all right, area equals to side times side. Or what can cause S square. Now look look at the side of the square. If you see the side of the square here is 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. You mean that the other side too is 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters divided by 2. Since there, the this mass scale is 1,000, which is half of 1 is 100,000. So 10 centimeters divided by 2 will give me 5 kilometers. And therefore, our area will be equal to 5 kilometers. Write this clearly. 5 kilometers times 5 kilometers. And the answer will come out 25 kilometers. How long? Uh, button how to calculate the area of a regular object. Let us quickly look at how to calculate the area of an irregular object based on any of these two formulas. So the first one we're going to use is the, is the grid square method. So we use the grid square method only when the map has grid lines that intersect each other to give all what we call the grid squares or the grid boxes that we have here like this map here. So we'll be calculating the surface area covered by this feature, which is the forest in this case here, and therefore uh, uh, to come out the area, the surface area. So the first thing to do is to put down the formula area equals to area of this square. Area of grid square times the number of squares that we have. What are the future times the scale of the map twice divided by the constant 100,000 times 100,000. So, the next question we ask here is why do we have to multiply the scale here twice and also the constant twice? The reason is simple. Since we are calculating area and area is in kilometers square, it means that we are going to, we are going to multiply the scale of, of the scale here twice. The scale now is the scale that is found on the map here, 150,000. We are going to multiply it twice. Yeah, I call this one a constant because everything, like I just said, everything on the map is in centimeters. Therefore, this, this feature covers a centimeter. And therefore, to convert it into actual uh, 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 ground area or surface area, we have to multiply it by, by 100,000. That's the reason why we are multiplying by one, we are, we are divided by 100,000, sorry, and we, we multiply that twice because we are dealing with kilometers squared. So, from the formula, it's always good to begin with the formula because from the formula, you can determine the next uh, 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 thing you are supposed to look for, the next determinant that you are supposed to look for from the formula. And the next uh, determinant that we are supposed to look for here is the, is the area of a grid square. So I write here area of grid square. Area of grid square. Just like what we have here, side and side. Because we are dealing with a square. So we have to look for the area of a square, it's the same. Side times Size. So when you place this formula down, you have a map which we are going to measure the site here. So for instance, we measure the site here is 2 cm and here is 2 cm. Then we simply come and apply it here. 2, two times 2, which will give us 4 cm. So this is the area of the big square. And then we are also going to look at the number of squares that we have. The number of squares. To have the number of squares, we are going to begin by identifying first of all the full squares. In other words, we are going to identify those squares whereby the, 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 uh, the feature appears in it fully. Because we look at the feature here, the feature appears uh, uh, in half squares as well as in, in full squares. So we are going to identify those, those areas that are covered fully and the ones that are, covered, uh, that are incomplete. So the first one, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark in the full squares with a tick. For instance, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the only full squares. So that, let, let's not, let, let us not minimize a square here, and we see that it, they are just cut just a little, little bit because uh, on the actual ground surface, this will be a very mighty land that we, we are uh, minimizing. So, we have full squares, just seven. So, I'm going to write here, 
Number of full squares. Number of full squares, seven. And then we are going to count now. The, the, those that are remaining, the half squares that is found at the boundary limit of the, the, the forest. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Very good. So we have fifteen. Okay, because this is that one. Sixteen. So we have sixteen incomplete squares. So I write your number of incomplete squares or half squares. Incomplete squares will be equal to 16. And for me to convert this incomplete squares to become full squares, I am simply going to divide by, by 2, which will become 8 squares. Alright. So, total number of squares now. Total number of squares will be equal to 7 plus 8, which will give me this is uh, 15 squares all together. Good. So from this now, I can now also write, I can find the scale of the map there, in case we wish to write, write a right map scale, the map scale, which is 1 is to 50,000. And then I can now put the formula, which is area, formula of area. I'll institute, I have my formula already up here, I'm going to institute the figures that I found there. So the area of a grid square we said is 4 centimeters. The area of a grid square is 4 centimeters times the number of squares, total number of squares we have is 15 squares times the scale of the map there we have is 1 to 50,000, so we're going to write 50,000 times 50,000 again. All this is divided by. 100,000 times 100,000. Yeah. So, when, when 50,000 cancels here with 1, when 50,000 cancels here with 2, if it cancels here still 1, and here is 2, and 2 cancels here 1, 2 cancels here 2, 2 cancels here 1, 2 cancels here 1, and therefore our answer will be 15, since the other figure that you many, will be 15 kilometers square. So this is how you come out with the area of an irregular object or an irregular uh, 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 feature on the map. So I think you have understood if you followed the lesson detailedly. And for the other formula that we have, uh, the, the number of squares times the scale times the scale is just different from this other one because we don't consider the area of a grid square. So this is only this formula is used only when we don't have grid squares on the map. So we are going to use uh, a graph paper to trace out, to put, to put the, uh, beneath the map. So most of the time we can trace out the boundary limit of the, 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 the feature. The boundary limit, these boundaries, we trace, trace them out. So most of that the, 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 can, the trace can appear, or the prints, better still, the prints can appear on the graph paper. And from the graph paper, since the graph paper is really graduated in, uh, uh, in grid boxes, we can count also similarly the full squares and the incomplete squares and we simply apply whatever we have done here and discover that the, 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 your area, the surface area, you will have it in kilometers square. So, I hope you've understood the lesson and uh, you, 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 can, you, you can subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed so as to continually benefit from our uh, intelligentsia network. You are also uh, uh, called upon if you, are, if you really love map reading. I think we have some books which uh, might help you understand map reading better. It has some notes on map reading as well as practical lessons. So if you are interested, you simply call me or you can WhatsApp me on my number which I'll give to you. And from there we can easily uh, have one-to-one -one talk 